So I have a mustard greens that kind of seeded themselves from the last ones. And they're going to keep reseeding themselves if I let them. But I, I can't have them overgrown like they were the last time um, this, this past season. Because it was too hard to keep up with um, the worm population when, when it got started. And so we ended up feeding a lot of worms. Even though they were a good bait crop, you know, I wanted more than what I had. So nasturtiums. They are flowering so well. And I might actually be able to get a bunch of these flowers to, to make uh, some nasturtium jelly. It's a, a good antibiotic. As well as, you know, you can eat the leaves. I see some caterpillar poo down there. Those two drops. That may not be caterpillar. That might be grasshopper poo. So mixed in with this yellow pear tomato... Um, actually, the yellow pear tomato has mixed in with the nasturtiums because this thing's just gone berserk. But you can eat the leaves. So they're nice and flat. Um, I'm hoping the leaves get a little bit bigger. Last year they got big, um, as big as my hand. These aren't quite, uh, they're not quite hand size just yet. But, uh, last year they got as big as my hand before the, I think, third or fourth frost hit before they started, um, declining. Because they can only be frozen, I think, so many times before they're like, she don't care about us. So, um, anyway, you can eat nasturtium, the leaves and the flowers, although people make, um, salves and jellies out of the flowers. The leaves are kind of spicy tasting, um, a little bit less spicy than radish. But, yeah, um, it's an edible plant, and you can use the stems, the flowers, and the leaves to make some good antibiotics. So, it's a multi-purpose plant. Now, these are two different variations of nasturtium, and I just planted both seeds, both seed packs. Um, they had like seven or eight in each one, and I planted some here, and some over by the sage. Now, there are a good, they, they're a good uh, rabbit and deer deterrent. Because they don't like the, the smell. They do smell kind of spicy when you rub up against them. But when you mix your plants in. Um, the grasshoppers. Um, they were in the nasturtium. But they weren't eating them. So I don't know why they were there. Unless they were hiding from things that could smell them out. Because the spiders um, didn't like nasturtium either. Look at those yellow pears down there. They're in a big bunch. Anyway, um, that wraps up my nasturtium uh, view. I just wanted to show you how well they were doing in the palettes.